Hey y'all, Chad Imhoff here, EFT guy. Excited to share some thoughts from group uh, this morning that I, I got a chance to talk with an individual about a video that I'm working on. And I was like, man, this is this is cool. We're, we're kind of thinking about withdrawers and how, how to work with withdrawers. I, I shot a video yesterday that probably is going to be used on SV. And I'm like, man, this is, this is some nuanced stuff. We're really going to break it down on SV, but I want to think about it with y'all just quickly as a supervision kind of quick hitter uh, here, but working with withdrawers, what are the big things that I need to be thinking about? And the first thing that comes to my mind is really my pace. I need to make sure that I slow down my pace with a withdrawer. I'm not going to keep the energy and the speed going. I'm really going to slow it down, but but not just a slower pace. My pace also needs to be extremely focused. It has a target. It's emotion, right? It's what they're feeling. So as soon as I start to get, uh, or their experience, if you want to use it with that, that word with a withdrawal, they tend to like that a little bit more. Uh, as soon as I get that experience online, a lot of times I'm like, okay, let's sit in that. Let's give them some tolerance for it. Give it permission. Let it bubble up, so to speak, which brings me kind of to my, my next point, if I do something really uh, good, if I withdraw it really bubbles up, it shows me some new things as I've kind of held this space with them. I'm going to tell them they're getting that right. I'm going to say, this is, exa is exactly the thing I'm looking for. You're doing a great job here. Withdrawers, a lot of times their fear is that they're a failure, that they're going to get it wrong, that they're messing up somehow. So if, if I get them in the right space, I want to say, this is the spot. This is the good thing. We're doing good work here. Um, and so I love to kind of give them that kind of like, yes, good work. We're doing it. Um, uh, clearly in, in the context of either the moment or at the end of a session, for sure. I want to let them know that they've done some good things today. The other thing I want to do is if they don't know, I'm not going to push that. I'm going to lean back. I'm going to give them permission. Hey, let's, let's explore this together. I might offer conjectures or ideas or use self about how that impacts me. But all those things are just an attempt to help them get in touch with their reality, their kind of experience. And so a lot of times a withdrawer may not know or may, may want to use, I don't know, as kind of a pause. Again, back to pace, slow down a little bit, give them permission to take their time with it, and then then offer some conjecture or guesses or, you know, educated guesses at what might be going on inside. Um, then the last thing is at the end of a session, I often have a withdrawal uh, at question. Why? How does this help? And so be ready for that question. And in your mind, have a way that you explain how their emotional experience kind of impacts the moves that they make so that you can tie all of that together. Y'all, we really do get better together. This is, it's exciting for me to get to share some of this work with you and do some things that are really cool in our um, just supervision, man, and, and see people change, see people go to places they've never been to and get responded to, which is so cool about the video that I got to do uh, in the session I was in yesterday. So anyway, y'all, thanks. We get better together. Have a great day.